Hello again, everybody. This is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout, and thank you for tuning in to this special report, where today we're going to learn that you can use your iPhone to find out if you have characteristics of autism. And we all know it. It's in the population, and we all have some form of autism. Maybe it's a strength to us. Maybe it's not, but it's there. And here to tell us about it is our friend Graham Streeter. You may remember Graham from being a producer-director on a movie called Return to Autism, but what we didn't know was in Graham's background at one point in time he worked for Apple and he's come up with the coolest app for iPhones. Graham, welcome. Good to have you back. Craig, it's good to be back. Thanks. Okay, you have an application that works in an iPhone that is how many questions to determine if we have autism? Well, it's 50 questions. It's um and I should preface by saying they're not my questions. Um, the, the, the app would never have been possible if it weren't for uh, Professor Simon Baron Cohen and his team at the Cambridge University in, in, in uh, England. Uh -huh. And uh, they have been doing this test called the Autism Quotient Test for many years. Uh, it's quite recognized worldwide. It's even online as a, a, an online test. Well, knowledge is always power, and Simon Baron Cohen is about as official as you can get in this particular industry. So, okay, so it's on your iPhone. What does it look like? I can show you a little bit about uh, real quickly how it works if you'd like. Okay. Most people already know the iPhone, but um, so here it is, right? Uh huh. And on the iPhone, there are all these little applications that you download from iTunes. So when you go to to get this application, which is free, by the way, you look for AQ, or Autism Quotient Test. If you just write in autism, you'll find it as well. You download it. It's free from iTunes. You've got to have an iPhone. And then you'll come up with, when you load the, the, the program, you get this welcome page. And it talks about Autism Quotient. Autism Quotient being something like an IQ, an intelligence quotient. Uh, the formal uh, welcome gives you some information on Professor Simon Blair and Cohen and his work at Cambridge University. Then you have an option to take a child's test or an adult test, depending on your age, which is very helpful for, uh, what I'm very most excited about is it really does allow parents to actually take a test for their child. Then 50 questions, uh, and the 50 questions are on a Likert scale, so you can slide from the left or to the right, depending on how much you like or dislike a question or agree to it. And then you come up on a scale that's part of the data of Professor Simon Barron's uh, scale as well, all the community data. And then you can post it on Facebook. And that's kind of a cool thing because then uh, different people around the world can share data and, mm -hmm. and uh, see where they lie in the spectrum. And like you said, it's, it doesn't say that you're autistic or not autistic, but it definitely tells you that you possibly have autistic traits in your personality. So I'm hoping that ultimately at the end of the day, we realize we're more similar than we yeah. are different. Well, and the other thing I want to point out, because every day we find more and more evidence that these traits are not necessarily bad. In fact, quite the obvious or quite the opposite is true. These traits can be very good. The ability yeah. to focus on things. I was, was going to mention also that uh, my designer uh, has a score is pretty high on the on the <laughs> autism spectrum. And if it weren't for his uh, his his traits of, of autism, I don't think he would have ever gotten through the design of this thing because it's it was a very tricky uh, piece of science, rocket science. Outstanding. Know? I'm sure he's a talented guy. Okay, yeah, this is great. Are you getting anything out of this, or are you just doing this out of the kindness of your heart at this point? Out of the kindness of my heart. Okay. Um, you know, <laughs> a lot of people have been following me uh, as I'm doing this two projects, a feature film called Normal Folk and a documentary feature called Return to Autism, both of which as we all know in the economy right now, it's very hard to get funding for, very hard to get off the ground, and uh, in some cases when you're doing a feature film, it can take years to actually uh, find the right donors or uh, investors and producing team who share the same sentiment and type of sensitivity for the, and passion for the project as I do. Mm -hmm. as, as important as autism is, 
you know, a lot of Hollywood says, you know, they, that there's no money in it, so it's yeah. hard to do a documentary, uh, frustrating as it may sound. Yeah. Simon Baron Cohen is a is a uh, one of my my team players in in, in the project uh, for autism, return to autism, and Temple Grandin, and and uh, Tony Atwood, and a, a slew of amazing, wonderful people who truly are making history. And um, but it's just nice to be able to give back uh, in the early stages as we're we're moving forward. If you know anyone who wants to be part of the autism uh, documentary feature that I'm doing, or Return to Autism, the documentary itself, please you know um, <laughs> spread the word there too. But most of all, uh, spread the word that this this incredibly handy and insightful free iPhone application is available. And if you just tell them to go AQ or autism and look for AQ, look for that button okay. at the iTunes store and uh, download for free and share it with others. Well, you've mentioned the names of lots of people that are not only personal heroes to me, but heroes to everybody in the autism community. And after you're putting this out there for people to use, this iPhone application and the work that you're doing with your films, I don't think it's going to be too long that you're going to be included in that same set of heroes. And anybody that's listening out here on Autism hang out if you'd like to help support Graham and his project. These are wonderful films. They're going to do nothing but help elevate the whole issue of autism and spread positive news about it. So, Graham, thank you for uh, for joining me today with these wonderful contributions that you're making to the world of autism, and I hope we get a chance to talk again. We will, we will. Lastly, I'll say, if you go to the autism, when you download the, the software and you're on the IQ, AQ test, um, you'll find right in the very top corner, there's a little information button. And if you tap on that information button, it flips over to a website that has a whole bunch of information on the test, on return to autism, on my feature documentary, and of course, the Facebook button, which takes you to Facebook for the AQ test and all the um, all the different people who are on there, and yeah, I encourage you to uh, post your, your score on Facebook and meet friends who are kind of on the same spectrum. Let's do one more thing. Can you give me a website if people are looking for more information on you and the AQ test? Where can they go? Just search online on Google, AQ test iPhone, it'll come right up. Okay. And where can people the best way? And if you go to iTunes, just on AQ test, and it'll come up that way. Where can people get more information on you and your films? Uh, they go to Normal Folk, normalfolk.com. Excellent. Thank you again, Graham. Thank you. And thank you, Autism Hangout. I'll be back again soon with another special report.